Hello, everybody. This is Chinese Lorange, Juzi Lao Zhongwen. As a Mandarin Chinese teacher, I'm very excited to bring you something related to festive occasion, especially Chinese New Year. I'll be sharing eight things about Lunar New Year today, and there are so many traditions that are not covered in this video. I'll absolutely love to hear from you in the comments about any traditions that you have learned or you have experienced. I'm looking forward to reading all your stories. Right, let's start the lesson. The very first one we're going to talk about is the animals in Chinese zodiac. This year is the year of the dragon. Long nian. Long nian. Long means dragon. Nian means year. So the phrase of this year is the year of dragon is Jing nian shi long nian. Jing nian shi long nian. Jing nian shi long nian. During this time, you'll notice a lot of decorations featuring dragons all around. If you are curious about the rest of Chinese zodiac, you can check the link. I have another video talking about this topic. The next one is wearing red. Red isn't just any color in our traditions, it's the most important one. You might notice that almost all our decorations are in red, and people usually wear red during Chinese New Year. That's why I'm wearing red, because it symbolizes good luck and happiness. It's also believed to ward off evil spirits and bring positive energy. That's why I'm wearing red, and I would like to bring positive energy to all of you. And speaking of evil spirits, I would like to share an interesting folklore that is related to the names that I'm going to talk about in the next point. Right, so the third one is Chu Xi, Chu Xi, New Year's Eve, and Nian Chu Yi, Nian Chu Yi, New Year's Day. So the story is this one's a beast known as Xi, Xi. It has another name called Monster of the Year, which is Nian Shou, Nian Shou. It used to like attacking villages at the beginning of each year. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. And interestingly, people realized that the monster Xi had a fear of red color and loud noises. To protect themselves, people started dressing red and decorating their homes with red and setting up fireworks and firecrackers to scare away the monster Xi. But there's a twist to the story, as usual. There's another monster called Nian, Nian came alone and defeated the monster Xi, saving the people. Anyway, this is the reason why New Year's Eve is called Chu Xi, because Chu means get rid of or eliminate. Xi is the name of the monster. And about New Year's Day, we use Nian Chu Yi or Da Nian Chu Yi. Nian means the year or the name of the monster. Chu Yi means the first day of the year. That's the story of the names. Number four is about home decoration. Tie Chun Lian. Based on the previous story, we all know that red plays a big part in our traditions. A traditional custom in many families is writing and handing spring couplets, which is Tie. Chun Lian. Tie means to paste or to stick. Chun means spring. Lian means couplets. We usually pick a poetic lines that we like and write them down on red paper, paste them on doorways. It symbolizes the welcoming of spring and a sense of balance and harmony. Next one on our list is the lion and dragon dance. Wu Long. Wu Shi Wu Long Wu Shi Wu means to dance Long Dragon Shi is lion. Remember the previous story said the monster Si had a fear of a red color and loud noises? This dance was a powerful move to scare away the monster Si. It symbolizes the strength and the courage of the people 
in facing and driving away native influences. Next, bao hong bao, giving red envelopes. Bao means placing money inside a red envelope. Hong bao means red envelopes like these. Red is also a symbol of wealth and prosperity. Giving red envelopes during Chinese New Year is more than just a gift of money. It's also a good fortune and happiness. The amount of money inside a red envelope can vary. However, we specifically like number 8. Ba, ba because it sounds very similar to fa, fa, which means good fortune and wealth in Mandarin Chinese. When you are giving red envelopes, we often send wishes to each other, which is called ji xiang hua, ji xiang hua. I've prepared two phrases that you can use during the Lunar New Year. The first one is xin nian, Kwai le, Sing Nian Kwai le, which means Happy New Year, Sing Nian New Year Kwai le, Happy. The next one is Gong Si Fa Cai, Gong Si Fa Cai, Gong Si means congratulations. Fa cai means to become wealthy or to prosper. It's a traditional way to wish people to have a prosperous and successful year. Have a go at using these phrases with your family, your partner and your friends. Everybody will be so happy to receive such a warm wish. The final topic that we can't miss out on is food, a centerpiece in many festivals. Let's talk about three common foods that we enjoy during this time and the reasons behind their significance. The first one, jiaozi. Jiaozi. Dumplings. Dumplings are one of the most important foods in Lunar New Year and they are delicious because their shape resembles the ancient Chinese gold or silver ingot, yuan bao. Yuan bao. So eating dumplings is believed to bring financial good fortune for the coming year. It feels like we have a lot of traditions about good fortune. Yes, I think that's true. The second food is yu, yu. Fish. A fish dish is a must at our dinner table during Lunar New Year because yu sounds like the word for surplus. A typical New Year greeting, nian nian yo yu, nian nian yo yu. Nian nian means every year, yo means have, yu means surplus. The whole phrase means may there be surpluses every year. The word yu shares the same pronunciation as yu fish. That's why we all love eating fish during the Lunar New Year. Our last one for today is zhu zi. Zhu zi. Oranges. Oranges are so popular for their bright colour, which resembles gold and symbolises wealth and good fortune in Chinese. Again, the word ju is similar to ji, ji, which means good luck. One of my favorite auspicious phrase is da ji da li, da ji da li, which means great luck and great prosperity. And actually, this phrase also inspired the name of my channel, Lorange Jiuzi Lo, with the L representing my last name, Lo, and combined with Jiuzi. That's why it's called Jiuzi Lo, Chinese Lorange. Right at the end of my lesson, I would like to wish everyone Xin Nian Kuai Le, Gong Xi Fa Cai, Da Ji Da Li. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can also connect with me on my social media. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I'll see you in my next lesson. Happy learning! 下次见!